Musical typing is a quick and convenient way to bash out notes, melodies and drum beats in GarageBand using your Mac's typing keyboard. But did you know that you can assign Apple loops and even your own samples to its keys as well? To access musical typing, you'll first need to have a MIDI software instrument track open, then hit the keyboard shortcut Command and K on your typing keyboard. Alternatively, you can click on Window in the toolbar and then select Show Musical Typing. Next, open the library pane, either by clicking the library button in the top left of GarageBand's screen, or by selecting Show Library from the View tab in the toolbar. In the library window, navigate to Legacy, then GarageBand, then Sound Effects. Alternatively, you can use the search bar in the library window if you want. Next, go ahead and pick any of the sound effect options. Note that if you don't see the legacy option available in your library window, click on GarageBand in the toolbar, hover over Sound Library, and then click on Download All Available Sounds. This can be quite a sizable download depending on what you have installed already, so just be patient and wait for it to complete. If you do that and still don't see the legacy category in your library window, I've linked to a GarageBand project file that contains a sound effect patch. You'll find that down below the like button. Download it, open the project and save the patch. That way you'll have access to it whenever you want. Once you've loaded the sound effect patch, you'll notice these wee icons have appeared on the musical typing keyboard's keys. When you expand this detail menu, you'll see a list of what sound effect loops are attached to each key. <laughs> if you adjust the octave range, you'll see that some keys are marked as empty. From here, you can open GarageBand's loop browser, find the loop you want to assign to a particular musical typing key, and then just drag and drop it in. So, for example, I can add a kick drum sound to this key. And then add a snare drum apple loop to this key. Then I can tap out and even record a beat using those two sounds. Using musical typing in this way also converts audio Apple loops into MIDI when you record them. So even if you just want to record an audio loop as MIDI, this is a quick and easy way to do that. You can even bring in your own samples without having to first add them to GarageBand's Apple Loop library. Simply have the folder with your sample open next to your open GarageBand window, then drag and drop the files onto whichever musical typing key you want. This is a really straightforward way to get going with sampling, but GarageBand actually has a far more fully featured sampler built in. For more info on how that works, watch this next. <laughs> 